So if there is a problem there, don't go shouting at someone because, you know, when people shout at you, what happens? They shout and scream at you, made a mistake and you shouldn't do that again, that's not why we employed you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now do you really take that person seriously? Do you really listen or you just want to get out as soon as you can because you're embarrassed or because you're afraid and it's really unpleasant? You don't really listen to what they're saying. The message hardly gets through. And it's a much more effective, you know, to take the person aside and realize that, you know, that you're behind them, you want something to uh, improve in the company, but not at their expense. How can we help? Now look, there's a problem here. Speak softly, speak gently. And also take your time. Sometimes it's not just the words we use, but the, the speed of our speech. Because you notice that when you slow your speech down, and you speak much softer, it has this beautiful uh, result of calming people down. But when you start to raise your words and do speak very loudly and very quickly because you don't want to speak quickly and upset people, blah, 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 it really excites people. I remember when we went to the auction for the nuns monastery land. There we were, sort of, you know, with our treasurer at that time. He's here this evening, the old treasurer. And they were having an auction for this land where our nuns' monastery is. And it was amazing actually to see this auction of the way they started. And they say, oh, this is an amazing piece of land here. And we think it's probably worth maybe, you know, one million. So let's start with one million Australian. Anyone for one million Australian? And then he sort of started bringing it down. And once we got the first bid, I think it started off about 500,000. 500,000, 500, we got 525, 525, 525, 555. He started speaking really fast and trying to excite people and get them upset. But fortunately, being Buddhist monks, we could outwit him by our calmness and steadiness. <laughs> <laughs> so it's great having a Buddhist monk at an auction to cool people down. <laughs> But you can actually see just how the speed of speech actually affects what's, uh, uh, the effect it has on your listeners. So if you want to create more peace and calmness in this world, especially in your marriage, when somebody is shouting at you, you just be very calm. You actually speak softly. If you speak softly and calming, actually you calm the other person down. Or if any other person has some sort of tragedy or whatever, you speak softly. I saw in Thailand, he was a senior monk there, when this lady came in one morning while we were eating our, our breakfast, our one meal of the day, and uh, it was so unlike a Thai person actually to come in there and just rush into the room and start waving her arms around and screaming something out. She was obviously very, very upset because the Thai person doesn't usually act like that in front of the monks. And you know, we were looking at our senior monk at that time, Ajahn Chakra, to see what he would do. And he just looked at her and then stopped and carried on eating. And he completely ignored her. And at the time I thought, that's really been a bit disrespectful, this woman's in problems. But it was such a beautiful response because he'd never actually uh, responded or accepted sort of the way she was acting then. She actually calmed down and calmed down. And once she actually calmed down, and then it was a time that Ajahn Chakra stopped eating and he asked, what's the problem? And then she told her best friend had just shot herself and she found the corpse. There was obviously a big problem there. But the way it was dealt with was so wonderful. You know, he would not sort of encourage exciting speech with more exciting speech because then he would just be part of the problem putting fuel on the fire. He waited for the excited speech to die down, which it would do with inattention. And then afterwards, you know, he started with this very soft and sort of uh, investigation of what's happened, but using a very soft and kind tone of voice. So your voice, the way you speak, has enormous power, which is why the Buddha said, you know, cultivate with mindfulness uh, skillful speech.